A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. grasslands of Texas brought wealth and prosperity to many early settlers. But when the days of the open range passed, disputes arose over boundaries and water rights, with a cattle war the inevitable result. The last rider of the plains fought this means of settling a dispute just as bitterly as he fought the outlaws and cattle rustlers who roamed the new territory. It was he, more than any other man, who brought law and order to the frontier. And now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young, and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for the range country. Hail, Silver. Away. The sheriff and one of his deputies rode out from town toward the Halstead branch. As they approached the trail that led to the ranch house, they sighted two horsemen coming toward them. The sheriff and the deputy reined in their horses and held their rifles ready for action. Oh, who there? Oh, oh, there. Looks like one of them two's an Indian. So he is, Sheriff. The one riding the paint horse. Yeah. And get a look at the other man. He's wearing a mask. By thunderation, Hall said's doing just what he promised me he wouldn't. Bringing in outside gunmen, huh? Just so. Hey there, you. Hold up there. Rain up. We aim to question you. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Stand where you are. Don't move. Wearing a mask, eh? You're the sheriff around here, aren't you? That's what I am. Well, what are you blocking this trail for? We hanker to ask a few questions. Why are you heading for the Halstead Ranch? Well, I didn't know I was heading there. Is that where this trail goes? Just so. But it goes beyond the Halstead Ranch, doesn't it? Yes. Well, that's where I'm going. I'm heading for the west. What's the idea of the mask? Because I want to hide my face. Why do you block the trails to the Halsteads? What's the matter there? You a professional gunslinger? No. Them six guns you're wearing look capable. And so they are. Tell me why this trail is closed. I want to go ahead. Well, you ain't a-going to. Savvy? If I wasn't so busy trying to keep some law and order with a range war going on, I'd run you in for wearing a mask and find out something about you. Range war? Yep, range war. There's a regular feud going on. That's why I'm stopping you and turning you back. Now swing your horses around and head back the way you come. If you want to get beyond the Halstead Ranch, take the trail to the south and go around it. Tell me more about this feud. Who's having trouble with Halstead? Bart Conway and his outfit. Glad that the whole region's tore up with the feuding of them, too. I got my men posted on the trail to keep strangers from going through and getting shot up. And also to keep both Halstead and Conway from important gun toters to make it a worse war than it is. Well, what started the war? Same thing as always starts them. Water rights. There's plenty of water around this part of the country? That's what we always figured. But it seems that Halstead dammed up one of the main streams and diverted water from Conway's place to his own. I've heard of Bart Conway. He has a good many thousand acres. And so's Halstead. Two of the biggest ranches around here, and they join each other. 
Now there's the Dickens to pay. What are you wasting time arguing with him for, Sheriff? Tell him to get, and if he don't get, start blazing. Mind your own business, Deputy. When a man speaks civil to me, I speak civil to him. I want to see Halstead. For what? Bart Conway's on the level. And so's Halstead. That's what I want to find out. You better turn and get now, stranger. Sheriff, we're going on to Halstead's ranch. By thunderation, you ain't. You said the reason you wanted us to turn back was to prevent our being shot by one of the fighters. And that's just so. Then what are you going to do if we push on past you? Shoot us? You've been told to turn and get. Now, stranger, don't get me riled. Are you going to I... shoot us and do the very thing you're trying to prevent others from doing? Or would you let us go and take our chance of being shot? Dad, right at you ain't supposed to argue with me. You're supposed on, to... Hey, they're coming past us. Stop. Stop where you are. Let's drill them. Hold on, Gotcha, Deputy. Don't shoot. But he's gone past. He's heading for Halstead's. Well, what are we going to do about it? The critter's right after all. Better to let him take his chances being drilled by one of Conway's or Halstead's men than for us to drill him. He might come through alive in spite of all the leads that's flying. <laughs> Never yet was a range war that settled anything, Tonto. Not right. And in many cases, range wars have been started by people who sit back and watch two fine men break each other so they can step in when both sides are weakened. You think maybe that happened? If Halstead is as fine a man as Conway, then this feud has got to stop. How you stop it? Before we consider that, we'll try and learn more about Bill Halstead. Come on, Silver! In a cafe a few miles from the scene of the range war, we find two men seated at a table. I did my best to pour lead into the two of them, Pete, but the sheriff wouldn't let me. How long ago was it that they got through to Halstead's place? Oh, it must have been five, six hours. Middle of the afternoon. They went right on past Halstead's and kept going. Mm -hmm. It's all right. They'd be past the far end of his ranch by this time. I thought maybe you could change the plans for tonight. Can't do that. I promised delivery on the cattle. I savvy. And the men that are paying the cash will meet you at the far side of the ranch to pay it and take the critters, huh? Just so. I sure got to hand it to you, Pete. You worked the thing right smart. What's the sheriff think of the feud? <laughs> He's <laughs> downright disgusted with it. Says the shame two men like the Halstead-Conway pair has to shoot each other up. The war is progressing in good shape, ain't it? I should say it is. Men from both outfits are kept too busy with fighting to pay any attention to branding and line riding and things of that sort. <laughs> sure. Good enough. Now, you do all you can to keep me posted on things. Well, I can do that all right, Pete. Yeah. Being a deputy, I get to hear all the news. Yeah. See that you pass it on to me pronto. Ain't I done that so far? Well, keep on doing it. Now I gotta leave you. I'll meet you here tomorrow and have some cash for you. Good. It'll be right handy. Hey there, deputy. Yeah? I want to speak to you a minute. Step closer. If it's about what I owe you, I... Uh... It's about nothing else. You just bought four more drinks you ain't paid for. I told your waiter to charge them. Trouble is, deputy, the book I write to charge accounts in is just about plumb filled up on your page. You get your money. When? Tomorrow. How's that? You don't get a payday till the first of the month. I said you'd get your cash tomorrow. Hey, what's the matter here? Oh, evening, Pete. Our keep, was you asking the deputy for cash? Yes, I was. Well, here. Does that square the account? Well, Pete, I don't want to take your money. I says, does that square the account? Sure. You got some change coming. Yeah, keep it in case my friend, the deputy, wants a little more credit. Thanks, Pete. I'll pay you as soon well, as... I'll it... collect. I ain't worried. Well, you're square with the board again, deputy. But you hadn't better let the sheriff hear that you're letting an hombre like Pete pay your debts for you. Well, I didn't ask him to. It's all fire peculiar that he'd do that. I just don't savvy it. Pete ain't given to being a generous critter. Well, it ain't none of your affair. You got your cash, and if you don't like where it come from, I'll tell Pete to take his business to the other cafe. Hmm. It might suit me fine. Fool feller named huh? Pete. Huh? Or say, Injun, we ain't allowed to serve no liquor to Redskins. Not all right. Me see Pete feller with Blowman. Yeah? Fool feller named Pete. Injun, all I can tell you is just this. The less you have to do with him, the better. Especially now when the range wars are and dead men are found most every day. Oh. You savvy that? Pete don't like Injuns. And he especially don't like engines that are curious about him. Uh, me, Sammy. Tom.
Tonto left the cafe shortly after Pete and followed him. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger crept past Halstead's guards and finally reached Big Bill's ranch house. How did you get here? How Take did it you easy, get past... Halstead. It's taken me hours to get past the guards. Mask, huh? I suppose Conway sent you to get me. No, I haven't seen Bart Conway. I'm doggone glad of that. He ain't never been the kind to send a man sneaking in to drill me like a dog. I didn't come here to drill you, Halstead. Well, that gun uh, was Only right. for my own protection. Came to talk to you. What for? About the range war. If Conway sent you, Tully Mile fight until he sends back the steers he put a running iron on. What's that? Sure, he's been changing my H brand to his own B brand. Is that what Conway's supposed to have done? Not supposed, it's what he done. Story is that you started the trouble by damming the water so it didn't cross his land. That's an out and out lie. The chances are he had his own men damn it just to give him a reason to steal my cattle. Then he could claim he was just getting even. That isn't Conway's way of doing things, Halstead. Ain't my way of doing things to damn that water either. You didn't need the water. Of course I didn't. I got more water here than I can use. Do you suppose this whole range war was started by someone else? Huh? What's that? Someone who wanted you two to be at each other's throats? No, of course it ain't. Conway wanted my prize steer, so he took him. Then when he seen I'd learned about it, he damned the water. How many men have you lost so far? That ain't none of your business. I don't know who you are, and I won't listen to you no longer. Conway sent you here to try and make peace. Well, there won't be none till he returns them steers. What about the water? The dam stays put till I get the steers back. And he probably will keep the steers until you release the water. There's some of my boys now. Hey, fellas, come and get this hombre. You come fast. Tonto. Uh, what is it, Tonto? You come fast. Tonto, see plenty. Very well, Tonto. I'll see you later, Holt. Where are my men? Have they all been shot up? Gate, Lem, where are you? It's the boss, Gilly. We're coming, boss. Watch out. Get that man. Get him. Who's that? A masked man. Come from Conway, I figure. We ain't no horses here. How do you get in? Got past the guard somehow. We'll get after him. No. Wait, boys. I see through it. Let him go. But, boss, he's he got it. That's what it is. A trick of Conway's. He wants you to chase after them two, and that'll take you away from the house. Then his men can come here. Let them two go. Stick right here and double the guard. Them two slip past somehow. Double the guard, and if either that masked man or the redskin shows up again, shoot up. All right. <laughs> The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode hard toward the western boundary of the Halstead Ranch. On the way, Tonto described the man named Pete. He told the masked man how he'd followed him and had seen him letting cattle through Halstead's fence. And then, Tonto, you say this man took cash from the man he turned the cattle over to? Not right. And it must have been Pete who started the range war. He started it simply to keep both ranches so busy fighting that their men wouldn't be able to watch the stock. Wait. Post, Tonto. Oh, 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 oh. What is it, Tonto? You look... Look, you see campfire? Yes, I see it. Looks as if they're branding cattle over there. Not right. Stay here, Tonto. Keep an eye on the camp. I'm going to ride back and get Bill Halstead to see this. Tonto, watch them. Come on, Silver. Here's where we end this range war. Hi, Masked rider raced back to the house, unaware that Halstead's men were waiting for him. They saw him ride out of the darkness and rushed to meet him with drawn guns. Oh, oh, so get your hands up! Hold the man! Wait over you die! That's him, all right! Wait a minute, man! I want to speak to your boss. I want to see Bill Halstead. Ain't no need to see him. We got orders to drill you on sight. <laughs> Captured by the men who tried to help. The masked man faces exposure and death. Before the next exciting scene, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, riding to get Bill Halstead and show him that rustlers had been at work, was captured by Halstead's men. Ain't no use you arguing, mister. Our boss says that you come from Conway and try to get us to follow you. But why would I do that? Because the chances are Conway's men are ready to close in on a ranch house as soon as we was to leave and follow you. Man, listen to me. Ain't there was a waste of time. 
Take his guns and mask and we'll drill him. Well, well, you're going to shoot me. You might give me a chance to tell you just one thing. That's fair enough. Go on, talk. After I've gone, one of you will get my horse. That's so. Oh. Hadn't thought of that. Good horse, too. i never seen the like of it. It's sort of a long story I have to tell you, but I want to be sure and see that this horse has good care. Sure, we'll see to that. Any one of us admires good horse flesh. But you'll have to hear this story. Hold on. This critter's just calling for time. That's what he's doing. Figuring on some of his parts coming to help him. Is that the case? By thunder, I bet it is. I'm dealing with you right now. Me too. He slipped past me when I was on guard. I wanted to go after him then, but he was accommodating and come right back this way. There's his help. To the south, Tonto. Hey, look out there. Get him, Silver. Have to move on. Look out for that devil horse. Drill him. Let's go. Come on, Silver. Get him. Come on, Silver. I hope you hear the shots. Come right, Tonto. He drew their attention just in time to let me swing Silver into them. No. What we do? We can't get the horse set now. Men are gunning for us. That's right. But we might be able to reach the other side. We'll go and see about Conway. I owe Silver. Hello. Conway was sleeping when the Lone Ranger and Tonto managed to reach his ranch house. Tonto was left to stand guard while the masked man opened the door and entered the house itself. Once inside, he found Bart's room and walking to the side of his bed, gripped the rancher by the shoulder. Wake up, Bart, wake up. Where they at? Let me at the only water thieves. Where's my six gun? Take it easy, Conway. <laughs> I reckon I was dreaming. Hey, who are you? My name wouldn't mean anything. How'd you get in here? Let me get a light. You don't need a light to listen to me. Hold on. I heard that voice before. Talk some more. I've come from Halstead's. What? Why, that old... Halstead's all right, Bart. Just as square as you are. Found that out for myself. By thunderation, I wish I could remember where I've heard that voice before. Wish there was some light in this room. I reckon you're holding a gun on me, ain't you? No, I don't need to hold a gun on you, Bart. Because I can draw it if it's needed. You saw me draw my guns a long time ago. Hmm. Keep talking. That time, they were going to hang you for a murder you didn't do. Indian saw the murder, and it took quite a while to convince the sheriff. Hold on. I remember now. There was a man that saved me from hanging. I hid out in a cave with him while the law worked to find me. That's right, Bart. A white horse, a mask. Are you masked? Yes. Thunderation, why didn't you say so? How'd you get here? What are you doing here? Why did you see Halstead? One question at a time, Bart. Now listen. Both you and Halstead are strong-willed men. He thinks you stole his cattle just as you think he damned the water to keep it from you. I never stole cattle in my life. What would I want of his critters? I got a plenty of my own. What do he want with your water? There's more than he can use even in the dry weather. Just ornery cousin. No. A third man did both those things just to start a range war. What? Just to keep you and Halstead busy. The cattle could be taken from both of you. You won't quit fighting till Halstead releases the water. And he won't release the water until you send him the cattle he thinks you've stolen. Stranger, I'd do anything you ask, almost. But I'm darned if I'll back down. I can't do it. If I was to go to him with peace terms, I'd be the laughing stock of the county. Pride, Bart. You're going to let more men get killed because of your pride. Let Halstead come to me? I can't reach Halstead. The men are ready to shoot me on sight. I'd sooner go broke, lose all my cattle, see all my men shot down, or get shot down myself, than to go and kowtow to Bill Halstead. With both of you feeling that way, this war can go on as long as there's a man alive on either side. Just so. This war goes on unless Halstead comes to me, takes back what he said about me stealing his cattle, and lets that water come through my land again. Very well, Bart. I've done my best. There's one favor I'd like to ask of you. I told you I'd do most anything you ask, but I won't back down in this fight. What I'm going to ask is very simple. Name it, mister. A friend of mine will come here in the morning asking for a job. Gunman? No, cook. Cook? Well, I got a Chinese. This man is an Indian and a good cook. Hmm. Well, we can always use a good cook. That's all you want. Send him around. He'll be on hand first thing in the morning. I'll tell the guards. Let him by. Thanks, Bart. Well, that beats me. They'd like him to give up trying to stop the war. Yet, by Ginger, that's just what he seems to have done. That's him, all right. There ain't but one man shouts like that. The Lone Ranger. Shortly after breakfast the next morning, Bart Conway went to his bunkhouse. Oh. Oh. What's the matter with all you men? 
Your horses are waiting in the corral. Oh, boss, we're ailing something awful. What's the matter? I don't know what it is. We all feel like we've been poisoned. Well, get yourself the saddle and you'll feel better. The boys just came in from the Halstead place. They're eating now and we ain't no guards in the job or nothing. Get going. I can't move a step to no saddle, boss. I'm sick. Me too. All the hanker for us to keep horizontal. I feel like I've been poisoned, boss. Poisoned? Maybe some more work in that Halstead outfit. They wouldn't use poison. They sure enough use something. Well, find out about this. Hey, you. I want to see you. What you want? What are you doing with that horse? This scout. Him, Tonto's horse. I know it's your horse, all right, but what are you cinching up for? Me right way now. But you was the cook here. And that's what I want to speak about. Mm, Tonto cooked breakfast. Yeah, and half my men are ailing. You know anything about it? All men get sick by and by. What's that? Other fella eat now. Yeah, but By you... and by, them be sick too. Mean to say you poisoned that food? No. But you just said... Me it... put medicine in food. Medicine? Not right. Steady. Steady, Scott. Hold on. Get down from that horse. You ain't going nowhere till I get done questioning you. And if you laid up all my men by thunderation, you'll swing for it. Even if you are the masked man's friend. Men be all right in two, maybe three days. Dead wretch, I'll... You not shoot. Hey, hey, you kicked away my gun, I'll... Get him up, Scout. I'll kill you for this. Come on, Scout. That same afternoon in the town cafe. So the hull of the Conway outfit's laid up, sick of bed. That's what I heard tell, Sheriff. I guess it's straight enough. Bob, don't get his facts wrong. I wonder what'll happen to the few. Now there ain't no one for Halstead to fight again. Just so. Wonder if he'll attack while Conway is hampered so. Oh, no, that ain't Halstead's style. I I wonder if Big Bill knows about it. Seen any of his men around here, Barkeep? Ain't seen high nor hair of any of them, no, sir. Reckon we're all busy guarding Halstead's ranch house since that masked man got away. I've heard about him. Doggone, I'd like to get a hold of him again. He slipped past me once. Well, I'll see you later, Barkeep. Yes, sirree. Sheriff. Hey, eh? Leaping lightning flash. Take it easy. You? Yes. I thought you'd be interested in what I have to tell you. I'm interested in... No, don't slap, leather. You can't get away with this for long. Someone will come by here and see you holding a gun on me and wearing a mask. Then by dawn, you... That's why you must listen without wasting any time. All of Bart Conway's men are laid up. I know. My friend put medicine in their food. That redskin? I'll get him, too. No, you won't. Because that's going to be the means of ending this range war. What? What's that, stranger? You can get to Halsey's place, can't you? I'd like to see him try to stop me. Then go there as fast as you can. If you'll do what I ask, you'll end the range war. Why are you so interested in ending that war? Because both Halstead and Conway are good men. They should be working together against certain crooks who live here. Meaning? A man named Pete. Ain't never been nothing proved again him. One of your own deputies and huh? half a dozen other men. Now, will you listen to me? Put that iron in leather, stranger, and start talking. <laughs> After the sheriff had listened to the Lone Ranger, he went to Halstead's ranch, arriving there in the late afternoon. Halstead began the conversation. Now, there ain't no use you trying to tell me to stop fighting, Sheriff. I won't do it. I know better than to suggest anything as sensible as that, Halstead. What I do object to is the means you used. Huh? It ain't right nor just to try and poison all about carved men. Who says I done that? Name the pole cat that accuses me of using poison. I ain't naming nobody. But the facts are that every one of Conway's bodies is sick of bed. Oh, is that so? Yep. Looks to be some sort of poison that got into that grub. I thought you'd know something about it. You know better than that. I hoped you wouldn't use such means of carrying on a range war. Well, how bad are they? Oh, they'll pull around in a day or two, but meantime, Conway's alone there. He ain't even a guard to help him. Shucks, I can't fight a man in that condition. That's the way to be, Halstead. I all said you was a fair hombre. I thought I'd tell you. But as soon as his men are around, they'll be heading here again, trying to get past my guards and smash that dam. Reckon so. And I won't let them. Not till he fetches back that cattle. I didn't dam the water, but as long as the dam is there, it stays there. It's a darn shame you've got to neglect your ranch so much. I bet you ain't had line riders out since the feud began. How could I? I'm most afraid to see what my fences look like. They ain't been checked in weeks. Might have a lot of stray cattle by this time. Gee. 
With Conway out of the fight for a couple of days, I can have my men tend to some of the work here. That's right, Halstead. Wait, I'll get them started right away. Hey, you call in the boys. We're riding west to check the lines. Have all the men ready to ride and work all night. All right, boss. Ah, I'm glad you come and told me that, Sheriff. I've been worried about them fences. We'll be ready to ride in no time. All set, boys? Sheriff staying at the house? Yeah. Go ahead, Halstead. Don't worry about your house. I look after it. Maybe spend the night here. Come on, boys. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. It worked out just right. Now to meet the masked man. Then follow them, boys, so the law will be on hand for the showdown. After dark, Halstead and his line rider spotted a campfire. They waited for a few moments, then circled it, while Pete and the deputy sheriff huddled close to the fire, not suspecting that they were seen. Oh, stop worrying, deputy. There ain't none of the Halstead men coming this far from the house. Not while the war is on. I planned the war for that reason. But the war ain't on right now, Pete. Conway's outfit is sick in bed. Uh, I ain't worried. Hey, you lazy galoots! Get them running irons hot fast! We got a lot of dogies to brand tonight. Ain't but a few hours for the boys will meet us and take them over. That's all we need to know. What's that? Keep your hands high and stand up. Halstead. We heard what you said. Well, you started the war. Damn the creek and ran a running iron on our cow. And cut the line. I just wish you'd make a move, Pete. Just move and give me reason to shoot you. Never mind, Halstead. I'll deal with him. Sure. Yep. I've been a long time trying to prove something on you, Pete. All right. What are you going to do about it? Uh, plenty. And that goes for you, too, Deputy. And all the rest of you. But I thought you was at the house, Sheriff. Couldn't stay there, Halstead. I had to be here to make a rest. You knew these snakes was here? Uh, I had a good idea the masked man told the truth. Who? The masked man that made Conway's men sick. So you'd ride lines and find Pete here. I reckon when I tell Bart the truth. The two of you can shake hands. There's eh? nothing I'd admire to do more, doggone it. Come on, Silver, old boy! Settlers are in trouble! We must hurry! you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.